Thanks for tuning in to Where You Live here on Shaw TV. Today on Where You Live, we're talking about Zumba. And Jasmine joins us from Zumba here in Lethbridge. She teaches classes and she's going to be telling us all about Zumba and what it is. So I guess that's my first question, Jasmine. What is Zumba? Um, Zumba is basically a big dance party. It's Latin based dance fitness. And so we do a lot of the basic Latin rhythms mixed in with some pop songs as well. But we basically just dance our way through an hour and get your heart rate up and have some fun wiggling and jiggling and shaking. <laughs> That's so awesome and off camera I was actually talking to one of the participants and she said that she loves in Zumba classes that it's such a diverse group of people, ages, skill levels. What, what do you have to say about that? Uh, we do. We're really lucky that we have a really uh, vast variety of people that attend our classes. Um, we've got everyone from uh, young students up to I don't want to say elderly but older more mature participants and everyone kind of just does what they're able to do and um, yeah it's it's a lot of fun we've got a really great group of participants here That's so fun and where did Zumba originate where did this idea of making exercise fun come from <laughs> um, it originated in Colombia with a man named Beto Perez and he was a fitness instructor and the story is that um, he went to go teach his fitness class and didn't have his music so he ran down to his car and got um, a CD of just Latin music, put it in and just started dancing and the class absolutely loved it, asked for it to be repeated again next week and then a couple years later, um, 2001 I believe, is kind of when they expanded it uh, to become an international thing and so it's just grown from there. That's incredible, what a great story, it's so funny how things come to be. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. And what do you think makes Zumba a creative way to work out? Um, I like that it's not um, just running on a treadmill or lifting weights or anything like that. Every instructor is different. The music, the playlist is different. The rhythms are different. People start adding their own flair and own spice, as we like to say. And so, um, yeah, it gives, it gives people a, a chance to kind of break out of their comfort zone. Yeah, I love that. And what do you think gets participants to keep coming back? What do you think really makes it something that they want to do more than once? Well, I think in our classes, our goal is to make sure people feel successful and feel like they are having fun. And so if, if they leave our classes smiling, we're hoping that they had a good time and that that will bring them back. Um, as well, we want to create kind of a, a welcoming environment. And so a lot of times ahead of class, we're around talking to people. Um, people we've seen friendships be made in classes. And so it really becomes kind of a social thing for a lot of people. I love that. I love the social aspect mm -hmm. of it. I think that's what makes working out a little bit better. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah, for sure. And how did you get involved in Zumba and then instructing Zumba? I had heard about Zumba um, a number of years ago, and I grew up dancing, and so after um, I had all my children, I have five children, I just felt like there was something missing and I wanted to get back into dance, and so Zumba was the closest thing for it, and they were offering it at a local gym, which was really close to my house, and so I jumped in and started taking the classes and absolutely loved it, and then um, decided to go for my training like three months later and got certified. And what is the process in becoming a Zumba instructor? Uh, Zumba certification is actually just a one-day training. It's a full day. They teach you the four basic rhythms and kind of break it down and how to um, make up your own routine and, and everything like that. And so it's it's a long day, but extremely fun. The best Zumba classes I've ever done were at training classes. Oh, fun. That's so, and then I guess that's where the individual aspect from every Zumba instructor comes from. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, everyone has their own style and their, you know, their own favorite songs or favorite rhythms and routines and stuff and so everyone tends to be a little bit different. I love that. And is there ever a participant that has kind of stood out to you that has a success story? Maybe they really embrace Zumba and it changed their life? Um, there's a couple of people who've, who've told us about things. Um, there's an, an older, more mature participant in my morning class who has said it's really improved her balance and her her back strength. And so she says, you know, she can bend down and pick things up and stand right back up again. And she's well into her 70s, which is awesome. So That's so awesome to hear stories like that. Um, and I've taken Zumba classes in the past, and I know instructors and even classmates uh, tend to wear very bright colors, and it's a very fun, exactly <laughs> like you're wearing right now. So uh, is that just part of the Zumba culture? 
It is. Um, I, I think bright colors just kind of exude happiness and excitement and of course that's what we want to bring into our classes and so um, of course Zumba kind of markets their own clothing and everything is really bright and fun and colorful but I do think it adds to the environment of the class. Totally and speaking of the environment of the class for the instructors I always see they have lots of energy it's high energy um, how do you keep that energy up? <laughs> <laughs> Some days are harder than others but um, for us really it's just seeing how much fun everyone is having in class and so if we're smiling they're smiling if we're having fun they're having fun and and really that is our ultimate goal. That's awesome. If someone is interested in taking a Zumba class or maybe even instructing, what advice would you have for them? Well, first off, I would say that teaching a Zumba class is completely different than taking a Zumba class. Uh, not everyone who loves Zumba is a good instructor and, and uh, you find that out as you kind of do the training and, and start teaching and stuff. But um, for people that are interested in it, I would say take as many classes as you can. Get familiar with uh, routines and footwork and cueing and things like that. Awesome. Great advice. And do you have any healthy lifestyle tips that you ever give to participants or that you use yourself? <laughs> You're asking the wrong person. I do Zumba because I love french fries and cheesecake. Um, healthy lifestyle choices though, I would just say keep moving. And we say that in our classes. If, if you get lost or confused and you're not sure what we're doing in the routine, just keep your feet moving, keep a smile on your face, and you're doing great. Awesome. And if someone wants to find more information about your Zumba classes or Zumba Lethbridge, where can they go? Uh, we do have a group and a page on Facebook just under Zumba Lethbridge, as well as a website, and that's um, www.zumbalethbridge.com. Thank you so much, Jasmine, Thank for joining you. us and enlightening us on Zumba. Thank you so much. Awesome. And after the break, we'll be speaking with some participants from Zumba classes. We're back now with Bev and Donna. They're participants of Zumba, and they're going to tell us what they love about Zumba. So let's start with you, Bev. How did you initially get involved in Zumba? Well, actually, it happened about seven or eight years ago. I was looking for a fitness class, and I, I did some research. I found a fitness class, joined it, got hooked. The teacher was awesome, and then she moved to Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and then I started looking again, and about two or three, oh, let's say about two to two and a half years ago, I actually found Jasmine's free Zumba, and here I am. That's awesome. <laughs> I love that. And I think that's maybe part of it. Would you say, Donna, having a great instructor is what makes Zumba so much oh, fun? Absolutely. It makes it makes all the difference. Yeah. Um, I know Jasmine is so engaging and uh, just she has a lot of fun in it. She encourages us to have a lot of fun. So we basically, it's laugh therapy for a yes. lot of us yes. where... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we, we just laugh because we're not all as graceful as she is, but we it's good exercise and yeah. I love that. And how did you get involved? I was actually at an Alberta Health Services Dragon Boat Racing event and uh, yeah, somebody had was going to Zumba and oh you gotta try it so so I tried it and I've I've stuck to it I've never exercised before in my life except for walking and the occasional running um, but I have done this faithfully for three years two or three times a week and it's 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 just fun I've had a hip a hip replacement a couple of years ago and I've still been able to do it and it just sounds it's a great, a great exercise. Yeah. I love that. And, and we actually talked about that off camera, Bev. You said all abilities, all ages can come and try out Zumba. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, there's such a diverse age range uh, in the classes and, and different fitness levels as well. And it is. It's, it's just, it's really, really great. And the, and the results that you see from it are really awesome as well because it, it, um, it kind of helps you, you know, as you're transitioning into, well, as you're aging. Um, it, it helps with your bone density because it's you know lightweight bearing exercise. It helps with your cognition because you got to remember the moves. Well, most of us try to remember the moves. Um, it's good for fo uh, toning. It's good for strengthening. It's just and and we have the laugh therapy as well. So it's um, it's great for your you know for your just your whole well-being. I love that. And how about for you, Donna? What have results have you had from Zumba? Um, I, I think my 
I was chiefly concerned with my my cardiovascular and my mobility, those two things. And it is a good workout. It's a good exercise. We, we sweat it up. Um, and and certainly it, it keeps me, my joints moving, which, um, you know, some of us are less young than others. And yeah, it's good for us. That's so awesome. Yeah. And what would either of you say to someone who maybe wants to try out Zumba but is a little intimidated? Have a glass of wine and then try it. Yeah. <laughs> that is the best advice yeah. I've ever heard. Um, it just we, we, certainly nobody is watching you. It is it is just it's just fun and exercise and you you challenge yourself to improve, to do the moves better, to work harder, and it's yeah you gotta drop your pride at the door and go for it. I like that. I love that. Any any advice you give Beth? I would say, don't be shy. Come on out, come and join us, because we're fun. Um, it's a very non-judgmental environment, and that's what I really like about it. And you can kind of do your own thing, and nobody's going to laugh at you and point fingers at you. Uh, I would suggest that if you are really serious about it, come and talk to the teachers, come and watch the classes, come and talk to some of the students that are participating, and um, just come and try it out, you know? Try once, at least. Yeah, just try once. Yeah. yeah. You'll it. get hooked. <laughs> <laughs> and is there, I have my last question, is there a, a dance move or a Zumba song that either of you really love? I don't know any of the songs. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> it's not my native tongue, and it's just a lot of fun. Yeah. So I'm sorry I have nothing for you. Yeah. <laughs> Me neither. I just, I, I like it all. It's just, it's great. I just love the energy that comes from it, and it, it just leaves you feeling really good afterwards. You uh, get a really good sweat, and afterwards you just, you feel really good. You got lots of happy endorphins running around. <laughs> I love that. That's the best. The best medicine. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much both for joining us. We really appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Awesome. And later in the show, I'm going to be getting out with these ladies on the Zumba dance floor. Yay! Okay.
Chica, tu sabes que se loco. Sabes, chica, tu sabes. 